Good evening. Bird dog. Bird dog. Bird dog. Yeah, sometimes Bird it doesn't work from the car. Bird. Hey guys, so now I'm checked in at the Royal Carib. Yay! Look, okay, so that is where the event Playlist Live is actually at. It's the World Marriott. But I am staying where they previously were usually at, at the Carib Royale. This is where I was last year. Whoa. It's, it, it's crazy because the room is the exact same. Like, I have a different room, but it's the same paintings. It's the exact same. Oh, look at me. And it just... It's like I never left. So out of boredom, I went to check the World, Mar uh, World Marriott, the host hotel, and to see what was going on, and it's just fangirls. Literally, there's fangirls just waiting by the registration desk to try and fangirl over people trying to sign into the room. It's like, let people sign into the room. I saw Story Hartman, but it's like, people are trying to sign into the room. Don't do it. Um, but anyway, I decided I haven't eaten since like yesterday morning and I've been up for like 35 hours now So I'm gonna get some food. There's the pizza place. I went to last year just further up the street So I'm gonna go get that So I just want to take a minute to rant quickly Florida what the fuck so I'm supposed to get to the World Marriott across this street there is no walkway across and it's a highway which like last night across several times it's just that now I'm switching hotels and I'm having to lug all my bags across and I even called a, a taxi to see if they'd take me and he declined me because it was too short a distance so I can't get a ride across the street I can't exactly run across the street first of all I'm assuming crossing highways here is also illegal just like in Canada so technically I'm breaking the law breaking the law but uh what the fuck? I have to lug my luggage across a highway. That's totally not safe and... Just... Okay, it's slow right now. It's morning. But like last night it was crazy sometimes having to run across there without bags. It was already difficult. With bags, it's just like, oh god, I'm gonna get hit by something and die. So this is my final message. Bye. And so now I'm checked into the World Marriott. Um, because I'm staying here two nights. The first Wednesday... Fri bleh, Friday? Um, they were already booked out. Thus I was staying at the Creep Royale. Same with Mon uh, Sunday night. But I have a patio. I have a patio, guys, guys. There's a patio, guys, guys, patio. Look at this. Look at this view. There's the playlist. Pool party. I don't know. This place is fucking massive. It, like, it's the world's biggest Marriott. I think that's the name, World Marriott. But, my room. So, yay. I'm Lucas Hirkshank. Videos and I have fun with it. I'm Andrea Russell. You guys are awesome. Um, I just I make I guess weird videos too. I don't but I don't really have an explanation. I just no, it was like 2009. It's about the same. One Direction, Hannah Montana, the same thing. That was my first thing, and I didn't know how to edit. Oh, seven things. That's a good one. Hardcore fans. But I didn't know how to edit, and I didn't really even know what YouTube was because it was the very beginning. And I just started making videos, and you just learn as you go. And how are you? How are you? Good. Hello. It's new. Uh, here. Awesome. Loving it. Thank you so much. Um, can I ask you a question? Can you, like, this is just recording, yeah. just pull back? Go then, for it. Can you just take pictures? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Hi! How have you been? Long time to see. Wait, were you, you were at Play, uh, Tri City, right? Yeah. Or no, you were at school. Yeah, it was your first time. I've, like, lost my mind. <laughs> but hello! So it's like, good, good, good. good. Yeah, let's take pictures. So, yeah, let's take Lisa. Oh, this is just a video. Oh, yeah. my friends. <laughs> Thank you.
You know what, actually, can we get some dramatic music, please? What does the fuck say? <laughs> Can we, can we try that again? <laughs> oh, that's better. Hold out your left hand for me, okay? Now, very important. One of these bags is dangerous. The rest are safe. Which one of these? One, two, three, four. Which one do you think is one of the safe bags? One! Struggle a little bit. Go! Three! We did it! Go! Check it out, look! Two! Three! Yes, check it out. Just... Brick and some blood. As hard as you can. Three, go! We survived! Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. That's an awkward way. All right, well, you survived, so you got a gift. We'll try some little mind reading. What's your favorite color in the whole world? Is it really yellow? Oh my god. Yellow? Blue! You're gonna get a balloon animal. My name is Ryan Casada, and I am a transgender activist and, and a singer-songwriter. I am RJ Aguiar. I am bi furious. Uh, uh, I'm the Not Adam on my personal channel, and I'm also one half of Chef Six Head Nine. Uh, I, I see my future husband in the audience. Hey, babe, I love you. Hey guys, my name is Marissa, and uh, my channel is Lesbian Talk. Hi, I'm... I'm Tyler. Uh, did somebody just hold up a flamingo? I'm all about it. Hey, what's up? Uh, you can find me on the internet, just Tyler Oakley. Hi, I'm Stevie, and my channel is youtube.com slash Stevie. Um, I knew I was gay. Uh, because okay. I, I'm so gay. Uh, I know, yeah, you're gonna catch it, watch out. Um, wouldn't be the worst thing to catch from me. But, uh, whoa. Listen, we're learning so much. A, a subtle cough would be worse. Um, I think that it is way more difficult to find an LGBT community in real life, in my experience. Um, and so online has opened the doors because gay people don't necessarily have anything in common with each other. Like, there's all kinds of different, other than being gay. There's so thing. many different flavors of, of gay. Yeah, just because someone's a lesbian doesn't cool, mean I'm right? going to be best friends with them. Nacho, Nacho cheese. cheese. Are you trying to say we're not Fiery, fiery, fiery you know. I hate nacho cheese. No, um, I don't. don't. And you can't sit with us. Yeah, the online community definitely is a huge asset for education, awareness, and acceptance of this community. I feel like, personally, the best way to accept something is to further understand it. It's a lot easier to hate something that you don't understand than taking the time to learn about it. So that's what's great about YouTube, and all of you are fantastic role models for that. So it's absolutely fantastic. So when did you all start creating YouTube videos and when did you come out on YouTube? Did you ever feel like you had to come out or was it just sort of out there? I, I actually came out as transgender on the Larry King show. So that was like my oh. big like, oh, let me just come out to everyone all at once. And that's why I came out to my family and my friends and my school. So it was a little uh, intimidating. Way to one of us all. Well, I know, no, like, right off the bat, I. <laughs> Yeah, I, f I feel like you're never finished coming out. It's always like whenever you're in a new environment or like have a new job or meet a new group of friends, it's always just like, how do I tell them? Do I tell them? I don't know. And and there's even all these people that are like, well, you're since you're dating, you're, you're like gonna marry a man, so like you're gay, right? I'm like, no, 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 that's not how it works. So yeah, at least in my perspective, like you're never done, you're never finished. So. Thing or told anybody, like it was the weight of the world, and then the next person it gets a little bit better, and like then the next continent. person, yeah, it's like you get, you just feel like, I don't know, and then you're just like, oh, not again. By the end, but just, by, the, yeah, by the end, it's like, yeah, old news, give it the time. It's like, it's just it's so it's so non-issue as you go on. I think at least for me, or you can just like wear a shirt like this and then just let people do the math. Or so. this, you're really throwing big signals. 
here. I have no clue. Happy and furious? I'm sorry, mixed emotions. <laughs> it's really easy for me, and I do it every single time I meet someone. Hi, I'm Stevie. I'm a dyke. Uh, you don't I, beat around the bush. Proud and in charge. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Not too serious. Joe Who are all of your role models personally for coming out and learning more about yourself? You're mine! <laughs> um, I know this is gonna sound cheesy, but that guy right there, uh, my soon-to-be husband, yeah, he's, uh, I met him, I was, you know, this repressed former Catholic boy, and then he was already kind of light years ahead of me. He's like, own your own happiness, and you know, just don't live your life for anybody else. And I, I, I'm, I'm lucky that I get, he reminds me of that every single day. So, I love you, babe. Um, obviously, Ellen DeGeneres is like my queen. Yeah, I know, I like, but even though like, I'm not a lesbian, um, <laughs> And uh, I know I confuse you. So much. I know some of you were on these panels before. How do you feel like we have grown, or do you think there was any sort of change since the last time you did a panel like this? Um, well, the fact that marriage equality is now legal in this state. <laughs> we just want you to join us. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean. We have cookies. and cock, and pussy, right? <laughs> oh! There are moms here. Oh, My virgin ears. Yeah, never mind. My dad is watching this. She's oh, like, oh, so sorry, Steph's dad. <laughs> Shalom. Hey, daddy. So it's morning of the last day of playlist, and I have to check out and pack up all my shit um, because this hotel was fully booked for the last day. I have to switch back to the Crepe Royale again and check out at eleven, which is in like forty-five minutes. So I need to pack up all my shit. Then I'll um, store the bags somewhere until I can check into the next place. Um, the thing is, like right now, I'm missing. I'm supposed to be at Dan and Phil's meetup. It started at 10, it is 10.14, and I'm having to deal with all this, and it's like, eh. And then, yeah. So I'm missing out on stuff, or possibly, I don't know. I have this tour guide called Luke, and he was telling us about all the amazing things in America. Apparently, if you're ill and you have liquid medicine, you can go to the chemist, or pharmacies, yeah, pharmacies, you can have it flavored. God. In England, you're ill and it takes vile. Honestly, America, land of opportunity. Yeah, mine is free, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can get ill whenever I like. Hi! But inside, I was like, oh, please don't kiss me. Uh, but she went in for it and I was like, okay, I'm going to go too. Went the wrong way. Kissed her. Kissed a girl. I kissed the girl. I didn't like it. Didn't know her. 
they didn't know her. I wasn't up for that, but that's what that's a thing I did. Just had to like, I was like, that didn't happen. I was like, ha ha ha, oh, whoops, ha ha, let's get a picture. Go, go, never see me again. Don't even look at me. <laughs>
Someone once said to me, haters are like pigs, and if you fight with a pig, you're both going to get dirty, but the only one that enjoys it is the pig. So it's just pointless. It really is completely pointless. I get on every Instagram picture that I'm smiling in, because I have a gap in my teeth. Every single Instagram picture, I go, oh, your teeth, and then everyone goes, my teeth are fine, and then I always put, don't reply, don't reply. And I think that you can train your audience over time by complimenting, so I try and reinforce positive behaviour, like a kind of like a kind of mother you all. So I, if any of you've seen any of my videos where I'm like, thank you for being gentle, thank you for respecting me, thank you for respecting my privacy, because I'm big on privacy, I feel like viewers will rise to the compliments. Whereas if you say, please don't write on my teeth, people will sink to the complaint. My teeth people are really nice to you, and two people are like, oh, horrible, horrible, horrible. I wouldn't stand there and go, yeah. And then, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, I just like, well, fuck off then. <laughs> um, so I thought, also, script of glitter is not a democracy. I am the queen ruler of that, <laughs> so I will make this decision. I, I bang the die, Tom Scar die, and then die, Tom Scar die too, is, you know, comment on my videos half an hour later with more fury because I'm like, yes, it's working. Um, so personally, I don't because I just like, I like your channel that is to you. Like the, the, I'm going to that's a lot of work. They deserve that hate comment if they put that much effort. It's, like, it's almost not hate anymore. At that <laughs> point, it's flattery. It's like, thank you. Hey guys, so playlist is over. Which sucks. Really sucks. Um, so I just left the World Marriott, the hotel that I was at, and I'm now back checked into the Creep Royale, the first hotel I was at. And I always find it funny because the rooms are always the same. I mean, hotels always have the same room, but I always end up with this side. I've never had like the TV on that wall. It's always been this one. And it's just kind of weird because, because it's so the exact same, like the paintings and everything, you feel like, I feel like I'm in the exact same room I was Thursday even though I'm on the 10th floor now. Same tower, but 10th floor. But it's nice because I've never actually had a high room in a hotel room. At least not for a long time. Um, and look at the view I've got. You can see, there was, oh, that light is in the way. Let's go behind the screen. But you can see the pool, whatnot, blurry. And the highway, that's my bed. Let's go behind this blanket, the thing, window thing. <laughs> And I'm tripping. Um, like, I literally just walked in, so I haven't unpacked yet. My room is still clean. Yay. Um, but yeah, it's over. Oh, um, today I got to meet Dan and Phil. Oh, ADD. I'm going over the place. So when I was checking in, um, the woman saw, saw my Playlist Live shirt, and we were talking about how, like, I kind of am sad that it wasn't at this hotel, like it usually was the last two years. Um, possibly three. I wasn't here three years ago, but... Um, and she was telling me about how, like, I kept my room key from last year. I have, they had Playlist Live room keys, and I kept mine. And then she's like, oh, we still have tons of leftover ones. And then she gave me them. These were the VIP ones. This is the ones they gave the VIPs last year when they locked them in the separate tower. And I think it's even the same ones they're using this year because Playlist created them. And so I'm wondering, it's like, can I go back to the other hotel and get the VIP area? Everyone's gone now, so really there's no point. But, um, next year, creeping into the VIP areas. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's over. Sad face. Lights, whoa. So the after convention blues are hitting me hard right now. I'm back at, yeah, the Creve Royale. This is a tennis court, but um, <laughs> I'm kind of wandering around aimlessly. Um, I've just been walking around reminiscing over the last two years of Playlist Live, looking at places that I was last year or the year before, and yeah, it's over. Oh, you, can, you probably can't see it, but there's the Marriott. There's a story I forgot to share. I think it was, yeah, last night. Um, last night I was in my room in the Marriott, and suddenly I'm hearing someone talking by my door, and someone's like knocking at the door, yelling mom, whatnot, let me in, something. And I look out the peak hole, and there's this guy trying to get into my room, he's trying his card on my, my door, and I just yell through the door, um, this isn't your room, I'm not your mom, sorry. And so I go back in, and he's still at the door. He still keeps trying, and I was like so freaked out. It's like, who the fuck are you? Why are you trying to get in my room? I even eventually opened the door, which I was hesitant in doing, and was literally like, this is not your room. 
Yeah, I, I tried to like make very clear you were on the wrong floor, wrong tower, something. You're not at your room. And still after that, he still tried a bit until some, he talked to some people outside and then just left. And it's like, uh, this is my room, not yours. I don't, I didn't know how to make that clearer. Like I opened the door, it's like, I'm not in your room. You are not at your room. So yeah, I had to share that, but. Except for that, everything's over. It sucks. It's sad. I'm gonna go find food. Bye.